Hi, I'm Paul Duchesne, and today is Thursday, September 24th, 2020. Mama Paul's video podcast has been the show, and we've been doing a few shows uh, for the last month or two right now, and they've been half-hour shows focusing on poetry, politics, and tea. Well, I've been getting one show out a week for a while, and then it took me a few more weeks to get a few more shows out, and it had to do with my schedule, and my schedule is getting sort of crunched up. So what I've decided to do is change the format, and I'm just going to do maybe a five-minute or a ten-minute little wrap about what was going on with me from the either the morning of that day or from the night before. I'm going to try to do a little bit of a daily diary that's going to be maybe maybe five minutes, maybe maybe ten minutes at the most. I'm just going to review for things that are going on that are starting to get more and more important as we get closer and closer to election day. And last night was the nail in the coffin, the absolute nail in the coffin. And the uh, let me uh, switch over to this. Uh, let's go to the uh, camera two. And well, that's the headline. You probably can't see it too well. All right, let's go back here. Anyway, this is the local newspaper headline: Trump won't commit to a peaceful transfer of power. Trump won't commit to a peaceful transfer of power. He's been inferring this since he's been in office, that the uh, voting is rigged, that you can't trust it. And somehow, uh, before the election, before he was elected, he was claiming that this was the case. And then after he got elected, uh, apparently the, it wasn't such a fraud because he wound up getting elected. Well, he's going back because he knows he's going to lose right now. And in fact, just a few minutes ago, uh, he was uh, he appeared at uh, Ruth, Bader, Ruth Bader Ginsburg is lying in state, and he appeared there and literally got booed for the crowd by the crowd who were screaming, "Vote him out! Vote him out!" Well, the story that uh, he won't commit to a, tre- uh, a, a transfer of power. This was in a a, a a news conference he gave the other day, and also a major article in the uh, Atlantic magazine. Again, two months in a row now, the Atlantic magazine. So the impetus is, the fact is, things are getting ridiculously, um, we are almost in a, we are in a fascist state right now. For the President of the United States to come out and say what he is saying about the election, about balloting, he wants to get rid of the ballots. He wants to get rid of the ballots. He wants to overturn the way they've been selecting the electorates within the Electoral College. And he wants to leave it up to the states to reappoint his own Republican comrades, and let's call them comrades, and not follow whatever the the, vo- uh, the vote came out to be in the state, because the vote is fraud, the vote is messed up, the vote is, is, is false news, God knows what else he's going to say. Rachel Maddow ended her show last night with, what you do now will determine who you are for the rest of your life right now. What you do now will determine who you are. If your country was was in this much danger, and she's saying the country is in this much danger, and when I did the show last month, I read the uh, the Eric Whitney uh, op-ed where he s- sort of gave a call to baby boomers to finish what you started, and David Brooks a few days later came out with a, a, an op-ed telling us it's time to act, it's time to do something. Uh, Jane Fonda was on Bill Maher's show this week, and she was sort of echoing the same... Uh, the same rap saying we're in serious trouble right now and it's time for people to get up and act uh rachel maddow uh what you do now will determine who you are uh one after another one after another uh people are coming out uh on their shells and they're saying that this is the time to act i think the uh my wife has has a subscription to tom hartman i believe he ends his show with uh, something to the effect of uh a democracy is not a spectator sport and for most of our lives democracy has been a spectator sport but at this point in time it is no longer a spectator sport we need to get up and act we need to do something so that's what this little rap is now I'm not a uh, I'm not a, a, a terribly big I'm a waiter I'm a waiter in an Italian restaurant I'm a health food entrepreneur I, I've started a couple of little health food businesses in the past uh, I'm an amateur political economist, and I say amateur. Uh, I didn't get my master's degree. I did half of the program at the new school years ago, but I've had a a, 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 a real a passionate interest in it uh, my whole life. Uh, a bit of a futurologist uh, in that I study the news 
to see what the trends are. And ultimately, I'm a dreamer, and I'm a dreamer, uh, and I dream of a better world, uh, a world which is new and improved and 100% better for everybody. I dream of a better world for everybody, not just for the wealthy, not just for the um, well-engaged, not just for the well-educated, the well-connected, the well-anything. A better world for everybody, ordered by fairness, compassion, understanding, and ultimately love, love of ourselves, and love of all of humanity. I'm going to leave it right there, and we'll see you maybe tomorrow. I'm going to try to do this every day. I'm going to try to give five minutes every day, and I'll follow up with this tomorrow.